I'm Star Lord Dan. Today, I'm going to be going over my theory on Lugia and Ho-Oh in Pokemon Brick Bronze. It's actually pretty cool. You guys like these theory videos, and I thought that I would kind of give my, like, two Robux on where I think these guys will spawn, and probably when. Uh, so, before we get into the video, guys, don't forget to leave a like, and also, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for awesome Pokemon Brick Bronze videos, glitches, guides, and also giveaways. Um, okay, so here we are today in Pokemon Brick Bronze, guys, and and we're a poor decker right now with a lot of people. You can still dance on CPU. <laughs> everyone's like, yeah, everyone's dancing around me. These guys are awesome. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to first go to where I believe Lugia is going to uh, spawn in Pokemon Brick Bronze. So let's go to Pokemon. We're going to go to Fly. And uh, we're going to go over to Rose Cove City. So there you go, Rose Cove. And... Um, Okay, so po basically Lugia and Ho-Oh Ho -Ho was added into Pokemon Gold. It was the fourth, I think they were the fourth ever games I got of Pokemon. Uh, I remember my dad coming in and uh, he just had them randomly and I was like, oh my god. And I was just like, I was so happy with them. And honestly, I loved Pokemon Yellow, Red and uh, Blue. But when I played gold and silver, it was just like a whole new world. It was like, uh, yeah, it was just, it was like, uh, you know, you know, like the Aladdin song, like a whole new world. Yeah, it was like that anyway. And uh, okay, so this is where I believe Lugia is going to spawn in Pokemon Big Bronze. And the reason for this is it's right by the seas. And uh, yeah, if you guys know what Lugia's like specialty kind of thing is or what its purpose is, it's actually, I believe, the Guardian of the Seas. Uh, wait, what is this place called? Let me just go back out again because I kind of I kind of missed it. So yeah, let's see. Uh, so if we go back in, it should say it is the Silver Cove. Well, there you go, guys. Pokemon Silver. Pokemon Silver. And, you know, there's a lot of diamonds here. So, if we just kind of go down here. I'm going to use my uh, my hoverboard really quickly. As we get down here, you will notice it's got a very uh, kind of like bluey scheme. Color scheme, I guess. And um, right here, we have this like kind of blue and kind of, I guess, like a whitey color. But I guess it can be like kind of conveyed as like a silver color. And here again, blue and silver. And honestly... I think that Lugia is going to fly right from here because you, you can see it's kind of got... I don't know whether it's a cave or not. I don't know whether, like, that's an opening into the sky or something. Because Keldeo's, like, kind of area is open, but it's in a cave. So, like, on top of that cave, it must be open, you know? It's, well, anyway, anyway. I'm thinking that Lugia is somewhere in this darkness right now, sleeping and waiting for somebody to activate or kind of, like, do something in turn for it to like kind of go why do you wake me up and kind of fly down uh, so that's kind of like my reasoning anyway guys honestly i've never glitched inside of here and i think that i sh i probably should actually i really want to glitch in here could i glitch to the i'm gonna try and glitch right here for a second like there wait there a second let's see if i can do this i don't know i'd, I'd like to get out of the map here just to kind of check I guess, you know? It's kind of good to check these things. You never know. The model of Lugia might be up there already. I doubt it, though. But still, you know. Uh, let's see. Can we get up here? No? Okay. Um, oh! Oh! I kind of glitched. No! I'm stuck! I got stuck! No! I'm stuck in here forever now! No! I didn't think this would happen. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I didn't know. Okay, I'm stuck. So what I'm going to have to do, guys, is I'm going to go and uh, options, get unstuck. So basically, that is why I believe that Lugia is going to be in this cave. I mean, it's kind of obvious, you know, it's got that color scheme of Lugia, the kind of silver and blue. And also, it's called the Silver Cove, I believe. Yeah, it was it was silver something anyway. Now, not really much has been said about where Ho-Ho could possibly spawn. But I kind of do have a little bit of a kind of inkling on where I think he will spawn. And for that, we need to go to Port Deca, guys, okay? So let's kind of head over to Port Deca. I don't know whether anyone's actually done kind of their theory on this yet. Uh, if you do know anyone who has done a theory on where they think Ho-Ho is going to spawn, then please let me know in the comment section below. I would actually be very, very interested. Because uh, I don't really watch that many YouTube videos because I'm always busy he making them um okay so you guys know that uh, just past a uh, cosmos valley right here where i believe another legend is going to spawn or a mythical i don't really know what it is um 
But basically, past it here, there's actually a place called... Wait, where is it? Where is it? It is called Tin Bell Tower, right? I actually didn't know it was called Tin ben Bell Tower, which makes this pretty much my theory pretty much right. I think that Ho-Oh is going to spawn in Tin Bell Tower. Now, first off... Something very obvious that I guess a lot of you guys who have played Pokemon uh, Gold before will know. If you haven't played it before and you've never actually encountered Ho-Oh, basically um, in the first uh, Pokemon Gold uh, game, there was actually a tower called Tin Tower, I believe it was called. Let me just see. I actually have it ready just in case because I'm pretty sure it was called Tin Tower or something. Was it called the Bell Tower or is it like Brass Tower or something? I'm pretty sure at one point it spawned in a place called Tin Tower, though. Let me see. I'm going to try and find this. Is it? Yeah, it was. According to the anime, Ho-Ho lived in the Tin Tower in ancient times. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this tower is going to be called Tin Bell Tower, and I feel that, like, eventually, something's going to happen where this tower is either going to go on fire or kind of explode or something, and at the very top of it, Ho-Ho, uh, or Ho-Oh, even, is going to be there. It's, yeah, I think that is a very plausible kind of theory. Now, I actually didn't realize what this place was called, uh, and now that I did, it's, like, it's pretty much obvious. Ho-Oh is going to be in there. Now... I'm thinking that it would be kind of silly if they didn't make it that this place was constructed. But for those new players, if they come into the game and it's already constructed, what would happen with the already existing people in there? Like, how would they get Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee or whatever, you know? So, yeah. Uh, very confused about that, to be honest. I don't know whether they're just going to make it like this and make it that Ho-Ho or Ho-Ho kind of like... Um, like hits into the, into that crane or something, or, I don't know, anyway, I feel like they're gonna do something with it anyway, and that Ho-Oh is going to spawn there, which would be very cool, because, uh, I actually love Ho-Oh, I think it's a very awesome Pokemon, I kind of prefer Lugia more, I don't know, what do you guys prefer, Lugia or Ho-Oh, I don't know, uh, but I'm Lugia, I'm like a Lugia dude, because, uh, Pokemon Silver was, like, my favorite game out of the original series, um, but yeah, pretty much, guys, that has been my theory for why I believe these Pokemon are going to spawn in those spots, a very easy video, I guess, a very quick video, I don't know, I kind of just wanted to tell you guys my opinion, because I know that you guys like the theories, and, uh, that's pretty much it, to be honest, guys, uh, so yeah, if you did enjoy today's video, guys, don't forget to leave a like, if you believe my theory is correct, then please do comment down below, and agree with me feel free to disagree with me also if you don't like agree with me i guess <laughs> but anyway guys uh, have a very awesome day and until next time i've been star lord oh, see you